I guess I'm wondering what's your what's your origin story <laughs> emotionally. I mean, it it, it ain't it ain't Daryl Hammonds. I I yeah. I've been you know, I've been listening to your Rogues Gallery, i.e., all of my heroes. You know, um, like, like uh, leading up to this, you don't have and, abuse synesthesia. You mean? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think we all have trauma. I don't, I don't, I, I think, I think I, I really like, I hate, like at 51, I hate, one of the things I hate about my 30 year old self is that I, I went way too far in, um, parading my, um, um, ancestral history around, i.e. like, I didn't know how fame and stuff was going to work. Like, I just sort of thought at you know the 25 year old version of me that's like in an improv show and somebody throws out the suggestion jelly donut and i do a scene about how my dad spanked me and, and, and my dad's in the audience and it's like a real story and everyone's laughing and they're saying this feels so real that's why it was funny and like i that dopamine spike caused me for the next like so i just so so the tldr of my current total digression is i really i really think my parents did a fantastic job oh okay um, and I, I i don't want i don't want the twilight of our relationship or lack thereof to be spent with me like bagging on it or like referring to it in these terms that then the public i literally can called my mom on. three days ago to say i'm sorry i ever criticized you because i've been <laughs> watching my girlfriend raise her son and i'm like this is so fucking hard I cannot believe that I was yeah. critical. I mean, and my dad, I'm still thing, on the fence. But, but yeah. also as a Gen, as a fellow Gen Xer who yeah. has had a TV writing career and therefore has always been around the mechanism of fame and publicity, mm -hmm. isn't part of it in just like when you were 25, you felt like it was punk rock and totally righteous to like make fun of your mom for being a lizard woman. And then like after being through chapters where you're being called a pedophile because you vote wrong or because uh -huh. you know like or or i shouldn't I, I just i just tried to make myself sound like a victim there i i i you know i was i i've been like publicly held accountable for misbehaviors yeah. of younger less powerful people yeah um and had to atone for it and um it it's like what the hell did my mom do by comparison she's a yeah. 25 year old chick who married her best friend yeah and and didn't plan for me and still bothered to feed and clothe me and on top of all that gave me a typewriter for my birthday because i wouldn't stop fucking around with hers and you know like told me i could do anything the the amount of things that these people have done for me um it's like and then but it was just like i just look at my younger self and by younger i mean my 30 year old self yeah. as like this ungrateful prick now Do, yeah get, get, yeah in, i'm in, getting in that by the way like, i was like 40 when i did three mics it's like and i that was like taking my especially my father to task and all this shit and on netflix and and it was like i still i i guess i stand by it but i don't I don't not like I don't know if I would do it today but I just but it was I mean it was more like that actually wasn't even that it was revealing whatever but but yeah I'm with you in terms of like oh you have the specific experience of being called to the carpet so to speak so yeah and you but i think as you get older it, which is hardly a feat it's not it's not nobility i think it's just it's almost entropy but at least that's a good thing about entropy like a fruit ripening you you get older and the fight goes out of you and all you want is to be a genuinely good person and you start to realize that that the, one of the biggest things about that is that you should you should not involve other people in your uh weird performative shit but i i mean i i have no doubt that i think i think both you and i are saying the same thing which is the, the stuff needed to be expressed, but I still feel bad about ever having done it because to the extent that it was ever received as punitive or, you know, like I don't, I, um, and so all of that was one big, uh, preamble just so yeah. that I could 
given a proper academic answer to your question, where does this come from? Yeah. I, childhood trauma. I mean, but the, as my but, parents but, were so fond of saying, it was the 70s. I mean, yeah. it, and I so that's why I said not Daryl Hammond style, yeah. but definitely chaos, pure fucking chaos. Collateral damage, but pretty m- reasonable amounts. Compl- well, yeah. Yeah, I, the kind that I mean, anyone that, that's that that was alive in the seventies knows that just like Eminem or Ice T lyrics being read on Larry King, like die, 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 pig, die, the police. If you just describe factually some of the things about your childhood to a twenty-five-year-old today, it's gone beyond them. They'll not. They'll now not believe you. Like, yeah. Now they'll no, yeah. say, "I don't believe you." It which really is a does new sound dysto. Thing. It sounds like from a hundred years ago. Oh, yeah, and they think that you're lying. They yeah. think that they're like, "That's not true." You didn't. adults <laughs> wouldn't drink and drive when right. you were yeah, a kid. Yeah. It was like they absolutely <laughs> would drink. And they mostly drank and drive. There was not a best-selling book about raising children that literally told parents not to breastfeed and to let them cry until they stopped yeah. crying. That's, Sleep training. That 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 wasn't the best seller. Maybe it was a fringe self-published <laughs> no, thing no i'm sorry it was a bestseller <laughs> His, but, it wasn't dr spock that wasn't the guy it was dr spock hey did you like that did you like that yeah did you like it though you want more don't want to work would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people first of all go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh watch more clips this is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in I'm not really used to the green screen.